Okay, this is video two. I just got through checking the system with the water hose. Obviously, it looks like a, well, there we go, the camera adjusted. Uh, good chance of rain this week, so that's good. Um, you can hear my uh, fake rain in the background. Um, the system worked good. Uh, the water went down here. And I went ahead and just filled up one can, just because I wanted to make sure that all my seals were watertight. And you can see that it's very full. This is the beauty of having multiple cans in a system. If you notice, there's that little bib down there, uh, right about there, and comes out to this hose system, which basically doesn't have to be looped, it's just because I got way too big of a hose, I didn't need them that far apart. That comes into this can, which is just kind of the central overflow can. You can see some bubbles coming up because uh, it's still working the, uh, the bubbles out of the system here. But what is happening is the water's coming in here and it's actually equalizing. Um, this will equalize both uh, tanks on the sides. This system also comes into here and feeds in. Uh, this one I didn't fill up as much. Um, but it did equalize the system. There's water in the hose. So, um, this is the overflow tank, basically. Um, but what will happen eventually is everything will be at the exact same level as far as height. And uh, if the system's really over full, um, each, each bin has a vent, mostly just for air, um, but that will also vent water. Uh, if the system's overflowed, so that way the lids will stay on. In fact, I'm going to zip tie them down just to make sure the wind doesn't blow them off because I do not want a problem with mosquitoes. Okay, this is round two of the water system.